Cooking the books on intel about ISIS. The chairman of the House Intelligence Committee says he knows it's been going on since 2012 because he was told by informants that it was going on back then. What about all of this? We start the Friday lightning round there. We're back with the panel. Steve. Well, I think this is a big deal. There's been a lot of media focus over the past couple of weeks, past couple of months, about intelligence manipulation as it relates to ISIS, where you had analysts who uh, provided uh, information, provided assessments that said that ISIS was actually a growing threat and a real danger, and those threats were systematically rewritten to downplay the threat from ISIS. But most of the media is treating this as a new scandal. My argument is that this isn't a new scandal at all, and in fact it has happened before both with respect to the war on terror and also involving DIA and CENTCOM, and that goes back to the translation, uh, the exploitation of the documents uh, that were captured in Osama bin Laden's compound. The same thing happened. Those documents, there were games played with them, and the administration was arguing at the time that al-Qaeda was no longer a threat, that it was in fact receding when you had somebody like Lieutenant General Mike Flynn, former chairman of the Defense Intelligence Agency, saying at the time that al-Qaeda had doubled in strength. I think this is potentially the biggest scandal of the Obama administration. Okay, mark it down.